Good evening, folks, and welcome to some uh, Cuphead as we try to work towards a deathless run with no upgrades. We're going to be trying to focus on regular tonight and see if we can get through it. And re once we uh, figure out what's given us trouble for beating uh, deathless, we'll be practicing those and then trying again. Hopefully then for a full run and then restarting if we uh, fail. Hopefully you're having a wonderful night. Or day as it may be, depending on where you're located. And I think that's probably what we'll be trying to focus on stream-wise. I think I'd like to ultimately do it on Expert. But I think it might be a while for that. Also because I'm pretty bad at doing things deathless with Expert. But I think there's a few bosses on regular that just kind of throw me off as well. Especially because of the differences between regular and expert. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which ones specifically. I know plane fights usually give me a lot of trouble. Ones like Wally Warbles, I usually just mess up enormously. Hey, welcome. A Witch King. Yeah, that one's a really fun fight, even if it is a bit on the easier side. I still have a lot of fondness for it. There we are. So yeah, this ship one should be pretty easy. Just watch me do stupid things and take lots of unnecessary damage. I did practice a little bit on uh, Sunday, just to see how much far I get. Alright, there we go. <laughs> We're dying on the root pack, that's not a good sign. Hey, good morning, Red. And welcome, Mish. I don't know what... <laughs> I think it's gonna be something that will get hit with Gooby, because we always tend to, uh... Hit... Run into him for no reason. Hey, welcome to your vanilla cookie. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. We'll just try and do Ribby and Crooks. Yeah, this is another one that the differences between expert and regular throw me off. Since his uh, punch move is a lot uh, different. Okay, that's how it works. Same thing like Kegney, uh, where he has the different uh, flower type that doesn't show up in Expert. I never quite remember the patterns as well. Nah, I just started uh, Pure Vanilla Cookie. And hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Does he do the uh, punching flames on this one? I remember he does it on Expert. It's like it, rare that he does it. Most of the time you'll get through the phase without it. But the coins, they're so slow. Because I think that it's... There we go. <laughs> I only vaguely remember as to what's the uh, good time to make the jumps. I guess I better figure out. I think it's jump two. An expert eventually gets fast enough to wear. Yeah, I couldn't make three, looks like there. Yeah, P-Shooter works actually very well for a lot of bosses. It's just bosses that are hard to hit that become problematic. Oh, we missed the parries. Technically, with the cup locked deathless challenge rules, we also need to get gold pulls by getting an A minus rank. And we have to redo the boss if we don't beat it with an A minus. But we can't get any upgrades. Or at least. We have to at least get a super art, but we've not equipped it so we can access the DLC. Sadly, we won't be able to use Miss Chalice. She's way too OP. I think it's three cards of health. Sometimes you, uh, just start 
Wait, oh no, it's only two. I guess he has less health on regular. Yeah, it's always that. <laughs> I fall for it every time he does a fake out before a jump. Egg Nabbit Goopy. The pea shooter isn't very good for this last phase. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect him to do it so soon. Okay, like, he's gonna do it that time. Usually get like one or two. One or two loops. But he was just like, I'm gonna do it right way. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Sometimes I just like screw up on uh, them. Hey, welcome, uh, Orger Bro. Hopefully you're having a great day. Oh, Perry, the hunting glove on third phase. Yeah, that. Hey, no worries. Doesn't look like they were uh, spamming, so... It's only if they're, like, repeating lots of uh, stuff over and over. That the, that's right, though. We don't get bombs throughout this run, which makes Wally Warbles... Makes Wally Warbles' last phase really annoying. This is also one that I, I tend to forget. I always forget what the UFOs are like in there. <laughs> in that last phase. I think that I'm trying to remember... Oh! Curses. Here I am already being dumb. Like the easiest attack to dodge. I th just have to remember that it's red to move ahead. Hopefully we don't get hit again, otherwise we're already screwed up. Always this, these ones that I dislike. Sometimes the placement for their shots are just... give you almost no time to react to. It's not that funny. I don't want to travel to Oz. You're doing Fall Guys? Well, hopefully you're having fun with that. Never really played much of Fall Guys. I think it's more of a time issue. Okay. The head. Red. Just gotta remember to make some uh, good ways to uh, remember. Otherwise... Hey, welcome, Scoodle. Yeah, well, sort of smacks. He really is only more annoying in the first phase. We might not have gotten an A minus. <laughs> B. Oh, we gotta do it again. This time, the better. That's right, I need, like... If I have one health, I have to do everything else perfectly. If I have two health, I think I can do two parries. I don't think I got any real parries there. I should have got that star that went by. I know when I practiced this that there were a few fights that I just had to redo just because I didn't get the um, appropriate score. It's usually the case for the flying ones. I don't know what it is, but flying levels give me the most trouble in this game. But I think it's usually that what happens is I do poorly the first time, and then I remember how to do the darn thing the second. Okay, so we got two parries. Oh, it's this one. Oh, shoot, I was gonna say three parries. Nah. Oh, that was a little too risky. 
three parries. Let's not be foolish. I guess it's also that it has been a week since I've really tried doing this. Uh, we have to shoot for an A minus at least to be able to open up the um, gold pulls to show that we really did this. Brown has stayed back. Then we should have this. There we go. Alright, that should be an A+. Plus. Oh, hey, welcome, Rua. Yeah, no worries. Hopefully you're having a great day. That smoke bomb, it's not that bad for Mortimer. He just got... Although I would point out that I have died several times at one health with, um... Trying to dodge when he drops his little ads. They're very frustrating. No, we need to get at least an A-. minus. faster if I do this, rather than to stay on the platforms. He doesn't actually have a lot of health on regular. I'm actually kind of surprised, because... I remember this guy being very difficult the first time. He has a surprisingly low amount of health. He's also putting his uh, pink seeds in a very, very good spot. But no drugs. No drugs today, please. Except the pink ones. Pink drugs are always fun. That was fast. Yeah, I've, I don't know what it was. I switched to Mugman uh, after starting to do challenge stuff, and now I play him a lot more than uh, Cuphead. Although I am playing Miss Chalice more with some of these challenges, so I'm really enjoying being able to uh, use Miss Chalice, because her moves are OP. It's between double jump and the parry dash. Oh, right, now things increase in difficulty. No, not necessarily. When I practiced last week, I think I died on... Sally Stage Play, The Devil, and was one other. I want to say Jimmy. I think it's that second phase in Sally Stage Play that just throws me off. Because sometimes, especially with that smoke bomb, if you get stuck in the corner, you have nowhere to go. For dodging the little toys that are dropped. Is this where the nightmare begins? Oh no, it was Grim Matchstick. I hope it's not where the nightmare begins. I prefer to be less nightmarish. Waffle time. Oh, of course he's gonna dodge that. Oh, that's right, on normal he does it like that. That was dumb. I probably shouldn't have trapped myself like that. Oh, not this one, I hate the cupcake. I hate you, the cupcakes knows no bounds. <laughs> Especially when I do dumb things like that. Okay, good. He's dead, finally. Actually, he throws one head on normal. But one might be a, a one head too many. Oh, 
チューピョなんだだよはい。Okay, we're gonna try and do Wally Warbles and get that out of the way. I think it's especially with Expert, Wally Warbles is. throws me off. Since it's two different egg patterns. Whereas you can stay against the wall. I'm trying to do the birds. Oh, well, maybe he does do the birds in phase one. Maybe they just take a while to show up. That was one of those deer in the headlight kind of things. Oh, but I still got hit. Curses. Oh, there I am being real dumb. Okay, we're probably already screwing up. Worst part is now this puts me in a very bad spot. Probably gonna screw up on the last phase, even if I make it there. Come on. The thing is, the parries are at least pretty easy to get. I feel like the outside is this last phase. Oh, of course, he's going the wrong way. I have to remember his hitbox is kind of weird. Okay, come on. No boots, please. Yeah, and you can't actually hurt him while his heart's out. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss the time if I even survive. Shoot, <laughs> that was way too close. I didn't want to get trapped down there. I'm not sure if I made the time, much less everything else. Hey, welcome, Nancy. Yeah, we were well over time there. Probably B plus at best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we gotta do it again, at least this time. Oh yeah, Cuphead's a lot of fun, if you've never played it, Nancy. It's pretty challenging, but... Alright, so we have to... I think it's gonna be the case that every plane battle we're gonna have to redo. It's because we're gonna be really bad at it. You just gotta remember that we have plenty of time to get parries. My like stormtrooper accuracy now. That's a really bad spot for him. Okay, see that's much better. Now I can go either way. Just keep damage on him. move in and get more damage on as quickly as possible. Oh, you're kidding me! 
a tower. <laughs> I thought it was a lot faster on that. Yeah, we kind of have to do a fake out there. Oh, shoot. No, take it. Oh, that's bad. Oh, shoot. Watch out for the drugs. No drugs, thank you. That might be better on the time. I think we got the parries, so this might be an A minus. But it might be another B plus. Oh, the show's pretty good. You just gotta enjoy it for what it is and not really analyze it too much. There we go. We can move on. Yeah, it's pretty challenging. Even after doing like challenges and S ranks and everything, there's still things that I screw up on pretty consistently. I want to get all these flying ones out of the way. Just because I know I'm going to mess them up. Same thing with like Grim Matchstick. That's probably the one that I'm more worried about messing up. Yay. This is also a phase where bombs will be really good because they'll kill the mummies in one hit. And for the most part, it'll skip this phase really fast. On the other hand, the little bullets don't really do a whole lot against the mummies. Unfortunately, I have regular. They don't have much health. Also, let's cheat. Hey, what a guy. Okay, we should probably... I forget if the supers are allowed or not. I think that normal supers aren't allowed, but I forget if the bomb is. I think that it might not be. Although I don't know why, because... It's one that you just inherently start with. As opposed to, um... I should go down that way. There we go. This phase always would throw me off, especially on Expert. The secret phase especially, since you have those small puppets shooting at you. actually surprised that that one went well. Hey, thank you. Alright, so Beppy is next. Beppy and then Grim. I'm not sure if I have to... I'm not sure if after beating Holy Warbles I get access to Grim Magic. This one always seems deceptively... deceptive on the difficulty. Kind of weird because it feels as though um, it's one of those fights that you think is going to be really easy, but kind of throw you off. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that midair. The nice thing is the nose actually counts as... Oh, shoot. That was a dumb. That was actually under him. The nose counts as a parry. You can actually use that to your advantage. It's the same thing like how you can stay under him if the cart's not... Uh, there. Okay, good. The yellow one in particular is annoying if you have the... Um, roller coaster there because you don't have as you can't jump as high. 
Hey, Murphy's Law, thank you for the sub. I probably should bet Fireball up rather than to the side. Dang it. stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Especially with the baseballs, if you take the time to actually kill them, they die as soon as the roller coaster comes, but you might get overwhelmed with three or four of them shooting at it once. Oh well, a win is a win. I'm decent at the game. I can't do consistent stuff like uh, Deathless, so that's why I'm practicing towards it. So I have done some other challenges with, like, no jumping and so forth, but there's quite a few things like this to where it's just much simpler stuff that I haven't actually focused on. Like, this one's gonna probably get me killed. Okay, yeah, that's how it works. Just have to hope I don't screw that up more. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, we are only getting two parries out of this. So we either have to do this uh, without being hit. You can kind of tell which ones are going to do this. But they have the evil... Oh, that wasn't... Oh, does that not... It happens on regular? <laughs> oh, we're probably dead. Didn't think that they got that low on the tongue. Oh, it's gonna be bad. We're gonna have to redo this one. Especially because I'm playing super, super cautious. There we are. <laughs> now we have to do it again. <laughs> hey, welcome, Al Alphabet Lord. Oh, we were within time, but we missed one of the parries. We only get a B. Or B better. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, look on the bright side. Now you have options. I think the thing that throws me off with that is that if you have it to where you don't have enough pipe for that, you're going to um, put yourself in a bad spot for trying to parry it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Curses. <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> I am just. If I can drop the ball, I'm gonna drop the ball, apparently. Oh, 
here, sit. I don't think they go that low on expert. Not expert, it's a lot better to go low. might be enough. Hopefully. Yeah, please, please avoid any uh, spam. If possible. Especially if moderators are asking you to not spam. Alright, so that's another one down. went a lot better than I thought. I was expecting to die at Grim. Especially with uh, being at one health. Oh, you have great night. Oh, Witch King. And thank you. You have a wonderful night. Might as well get one of the harder ones out of the way. Right, the explosion's different. Or maybe it's that it alters? Well, that's only two parries. But we can still technically get the parry with the triangle attack. Strictly speaking. I think the orb might count as well. Shoot. I guess we'll find out. Although I think we get the triangle attack now. Already switch to the phase three. This one is one in which pea shooter is just a real pain. Oh, over on that side. Watch out. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Got to make sure that you're not on the sides when they're uh, going to shoot those hands. I don't know. I feel Twist Up is a lot better for uh, Rumor Honey Bottoms than Pea Shooter. I think it's just that I've gotten used to Twist Up to such a degree that I just really favor it for a lot of fights. All right. Beautiful. I guess the next one we'll do is Briny Beard. Hey, thank you. Good day for us. I give so many parries. We have enough parries now. 
super thick. Okay. Be wary with this one. That's right, it's still four, even on regular. For some reason, I think that he only would do three on regular, but I remember the last time that I did that. It did not work out so well. Oh. Crap myself. Oh, that's right, he shoots three out on regular. Just need to make sure that we don't have the barrel coming towards us. But we want to use the lasers as much as possible so we can build the EXs, because that's a lot easier than just the normal pea shooter shot. Yeah, you can actually dash into the boss. He doesn't actually have a hitbox that you can actually reach. Which is why you can't beat him with whetstone. Oh, hey, welcome to Ultimate Friendly Freddy. <laughs> okay, so that gets sort of briny beard. The next one is just going to try and do Dr. Call's robot. That's also a pretty annoying one. Mostly because there's just a lot going on. It's nice to have the bombs for the bombs as well. That's not an option for us. Oh, that's right, the laser's a lot faster on normal. <laughs> There's just things like that that completely forget about. But we don't want those bombs to stay up because they just speed up enormously. And there we go. <laughs> We're already at phase three. I mean, I, I guess that is pretty funny, but I don't see why you'd find it funny. Oh yeah, I probably should hang back there. Quite a few parries. Really nice what they give you all the parries right there. Wonderful. Okay, beautiful. You don't have to worry about him. This is a pretty fun boss. Wait, why are we meeting? I feel like that involves, like, bullying behind the bleachers, behind the cafeteria, or something. Do we do, like, peer pressure kind of stuff? Yeah, I, well, a lot of the bosses visually are really cool. Oh. So I have to... do Cala Maria to open up that one. Oh, this is one that always throws me off. Especially because of Phase 2. I don't know why, but the time limit for it is always tight. And the parries are 
real pain. Because usually you only get two parries in the first phase, and then if you're not doing the secret phase, I think you only your only other option for um for parries is the last phase with the roses. Okay, there. <laughs> see, I don't want to get trapped in the corner. Because as you can see, it is uh, not good. Hey, hey. There's the same thing that if you transition to phase, the final phase, and kill her before the big wave comes, then the star will go away. I kind of have to take it a little slow. Especially on the next meteor. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. Being said, we're not going for that extra parry. It's just a little bit too hectic. Why P Shooter sucks for this last phase. Yeah, I won't be doing twist up for this one. Uh, because I did wear shut on stream la uh, like last month. Oh, I've actually, uh, Anthony did a, a thing where I S ranked all the bosses with twist up. Twist up is a lot better than people give it credit for. because it's really powerful if it all hits. And the big thing about it is you can actually get... Once you get used to the aim with it, you can actually hit bosses pretty consistently. We're trying to do a Deathless run. That being said, what's probably going to happen is I'll get far in and then I'll mess up somewhere. <laughs> like that. Doing this one without jumping is a real pain as well. I'm not sure why, but if you duck on the right side, you don't get hit by his flames if you're on the bottom row. It's not that bad. Usually I screw up in the second phase. I think the ghosts always throw the pink burbs on regular instead of expert. I can always get an easy parry. Unless he does that. There we go. Beautiful. I really love the fight, even if it's not exactly the hardest. Okay, thank you. And you have a wonderful night, Nancy. And thanks for stopping by. Hey, well, thank you, uh, Black Prism. And if you're heading out, you have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. But yeah, life is good. Okay, so we have to beat Calamaria. I just got four bosses left for the base game. Calamaria, Phantom Express, and uh, King Dice and the Devil. And we can technically kind of cheese King Dice by the fact that we can get hearts along the way, depending on which bosses. I kind of only do either the second or third boss for... I usually skip the, uh, the alcohol gang and do either the chips. Oh goodness, that one was close. It was kind of cool to see the thing that you can use Smoke Bomb to avoid 
damage in the uh, third. Avoid being petrified in the third phase. Wasn't entirely sure that was doable. Oh, that's a bad one. Okay, I think it gives a little more time than... You can actually just stay up there. You can actually stay in the top right and be perfectly safe. Alright, lovely. That's a good bit slower and regular. Much use to the faster ones. Just do the devil's work. You're right, I could just get the bad ending and call it that I did it deathless. Just the plan. Favorite boss? Oh, that's a tough one. I really like the Halonaces from the DLC and Moonshine Mob. Base game? I don't know. Ones like Cagnet Incarnation is a lot of fun. I think that with them, um, I'm just not too fond of the plain levels, even though they're visually good. Meteor is actually pretty good for this first phase. Converge is the best, so it will just pierce through all the eyes. I'm actually surprised at how much a pea shooter will work for this. Of course. Hey, Nicola Gaiman, thank you for the sub. The thing is, his big head has a, uh, a very annoying hitbox. Trying to do that one with worse shot uh, for S rank generally involves trying to get him with um, trying to get him for the um, what is it? Sorry, I'm a little focused. Okay, wonderful. Trying to get him with like the lobber EXs so that you can uh, do enough damage to get through that phase quickly. The thing is, you have to do a really small hop to get the lobber EX to actually hit. My aim and skills are impeccable. Oh shoot. I am very bad at doing this. P shooter just sucks in general. No. Versus right before the knockout. <laughs> I should have the parries. Hopefully I have the time. Oh, cool. Well, hopefully you're having a great day night, uh, Nicolu. Oh, it looks like we're one second over. That might not be an A minus. Oh, shoot. One second off. <laughs> we gotta do it again. Hardest Cuphead challenge? I think probably ones with either no minions or no jumping. I actually have w another one to upload where I did all the S ranked all the bosses with the cursed relic. Which is mostly a hitless playthrough, but you're trying to use the uh, cursed relic's heart ring activation to get your health back to three. And for some bosses, that's more problematic than others. Okay, 
Good. Don't want his big, big stupid head hitting me. Oh, you can use the Curse Relic for that. I mean, the big thing about the Curse Relic that makes it challenging is the random uh, shots. Oh, shoot. Yes, please, I need more parries. As we've established, I can't shoot worth a darn with just the normal pea shooter. Okay, that should be much better, even if we weren't within time. Have a great night, Rua. Thank you. You have a wonderful night. Alright, so King Dice and the Devil. I still mess up on the Devil a lot. And then I suppose we'll also do the DLC to practice that. Okay, so the extra health is on three, so we're going to do three. We usually do four for the dominoes, because those are the easiest. And then the uh, eight for the uh, billard ball. I forgot how slow these flames are. It does have a surprisingly large health pool. Goodness. I feel the entire Lost Kin Broken Vessel kind of feel. Where it's the fact that you're used to the much faster version. There we go. <laughs> no, I've actually never tried uh, Cuphead with two players. I did suggest it to some friends that I play games with, uh, multiplayer games with, but I think they felt that um, it was a bit laggier with two players, unless it's like local. Really? I wasn't aware. Don't bring the kids to work. This is a casino, ma'am. I guess. Problem. The EXs are really the only thing that it's easy to get off with Pea Shooter. At least with the Billard Ball, it's easy to hit it. <laughs> I'm not very consistent with the dice. In fact, I'm really nervous when I do the dice. I think I'm not going to do the jump correctly. You might see me let it go by a few times. Several times. There's other times where I think I'm going to do okay, and then I get start over. I 
Yeah, he's by far the easiest. <laughs> I didn't even know that he had that low health on regular. I don't know. Grim Magic is actually the hardest one with the worst shot challenge, in my opinion. At least if you want to S rank. Nice that you get so many supers from that. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, just got the devil. <laughs> We're gonna screw this up. I just know. But yeah, King Dice isn't that bad once you get the hang of the, some of the mini-bosses. you got to find which ones you're comfortable with. And I think that's the entire problem. Like, 2 and 3 I'm kind of comfortable with. I haven't done Home and Shot in the Health Charm, but I did try to see how many bosses I could beat with just Chaser to S-Rank. I'm pretty sure with the health charm I'd be fine. I always like having an EX for that move. Good, he's coming from the side that enemy is cut on. It's really his magic attacks that I hate the most, like this one. Oh, he's already transitioning. I'm sure that I technically violated the rules of cup luck by using bombs. I can always redo lane levels. Strictly speaking. Oh, I thought I was going to get another free parry. Shoot. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's base game deathless. Nah, nah, we still got more to do. Besides, we have the DLC. We gotta see if we can actually do that. Alright, so we technically beat the base game Deathless now, on regular. And besides, after we do the DLC, assuming we do that, then we have to do Expert. Or at least try it. We gotta do better. <laughs> There's gotta be bigger challenges. Alright, so we gotta do one of the um, mausoleums. So we're just gonna go back to Inkle Island 1. I guess it doesn't really matter which one. Thank you, our red dragon. Yeah, that's actually a really neat little thing that they did. It's nice when they add little tidbits like that.
Yeah, but it's the uh, double health charm is only like a 10% reduction. And Chaser's actually pretty good. Like, it's amazing for fights like Salt Baker. And overall, if I had to pick between Tra Chaser and Crackshot for Salt Baker, I'd pick Chaser. Alright, you have a great night, uh, Niccolo. Or day in your case, and good luck with class. Because he's a chef, and all chefs are psycho. Hundred percent true. Let's get this one dealt with. Here comes a spooky bunch. Now go. We don't really get to do lots of multiple bouncing in this one. But it's pretty fun to be able to just practice some parries. It's kind of nice how they did that with King's Le uh, King's Gauntlet. Victory! Since that allowed so many uh, focuses on parries. Nice. Now I just got to... Uh, Head to the DLC. No chalice. Don't need to... Really don't need to uh, do any equipped in. Uh, you should definitely make sure you get your uh, stuff done. Oh, I can just press escape and skip that. Okay, beautiful. He seems like a trustworthy person. <laughs> Never. I mean, it's your option, but, you know, you can always multitask and focus predominantly on your homework. This one is evil for no jumping. Because you kind of want to stay on the pillars. Stand on the pillars is a real pain. bad. I'm so much worse at Glumstone. This is the phase that I hate the most. Surprisingly, with no jumping, this was actually the phase I didn't mind. I was pretty certain I was going to get hit there. Very rude. I don't have the benefit of crack shot to do a nice cool jump. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully I got enough parries. And then I killed them in time. 
Okay, good. I should get the A minus. It's Mortimer Freeze that I actually dislike a lot. I wish that fight was just not so starved with um, parries. Because this one just causes so much frustration with trying to get enough parries in time. Kind of depending on how some phases go. Delightful pink card. It's gonna do the thing where he, yeah, he phase shifts and. Oh, he does three? I can actually go in the middle of them. This feels so strange. At least on Expert, you can uh, use that area to you can stay right where his eye would be. Right at the edge of the platform. And avoid being hit entirely. Oh, no. That's the only thing. I gotta watch out if he does the buckets. Yeah, I really enjoyed Cuphead. I think with the DLC, I was waiting to get back into it, because I did S-Ranks for the base game, and then I just kind of, like, didn't really focus on Cuphead. Okay, how in Aces. This one's not too bad with Pea Shooter. Oh, those go back faster than expected. Oh no! Oh, I'm already screwed up. Okay, we are probably dead. At least we got the base game. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so, gotta remember the differences with the uh, stuff with that. I guess I should uh, have remembered to practice this one. Ah, uh, it's all good. Worst case scenario, it's a learning experience. Super one's really good for phase two, so that you can skip half of that phase. Okay, I see what it is. The patterns for it is different from expert. What do I was getting thrown off? Yeah, I see this is the one I gotta practice. <laughs> right, red is the one I jumped over. 
Here, I'm just starting to... Who my old man don't remember how to play the game. There we go. It's usually by the third one, I think. Hey, welcome, uh, Faytunes. Hey, welcome, Chris. Yeah, I play on keyboard all the way. I've never really been able to get used to, uh, controller. I mean, I stream a variety of stuff and play a variety of stuff. I really love, like, point-and-click adventure games, because I grew up with uh, a couple of them, like Shadowgate and, uh, as a kid. Some, I remember playing a few Sierra games, but not as many as I would have I'll probably like. Oh, that's the wrong person. <laughs> I thought that was the boss. I'm gonna rough up the cactus. I think it's Saluki. Yeah, Shadow Cape for the NES. It's for all the stupid ways that you die in that game. Wait, is this the same? Okay, so the explosions are different. That's right. So it's like that, and then that. We're almost certainly gonna die, but now we have a better feel for this. See, I was just interested in getting through the base game. Watch out. We're just getting our hopes up. We're gonna definitely die in like phase three. And the positions for these are also different. Throwing me off. <laughs> like, yo, no, don't do this to me, game. Got my entire broken vessel lost kin thing in full play. That's gonna be a bad one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I know. Very much the same, Smacks. They did a good job with that uh, Grim Reaper to spook kids. I haven't really played many first-person shooter games. The only one I streamed was Doom Eternal, and I never... I thing is, I'm not very good at FPS games. So it's kind of... You know, one of those things where I'm a little bit uh, hesitant to try them because I'm usually pretty bad. Hey, thank you. This one periodically feels like it's starved for parries. Ah, oh, shoot. Just wanted the parry, man. Okay, that'll do. My downside is I have to now focus on moving about. With P-Shooter, it's not that bad, because once it's not active, you can just stay over here. I think I've been spoiled with playing Chalice, not having to actually pay attention how to do this 
base normally. I think I can probably use the Anteater's Tongue for parries. I forget if they actually count now. Oh, shoot. That was a close one. We are. I guess we'll just assume that we got two parries. I know, the song for Moonshine Mob is really good. Oh, I guess it did count for multiple parries. I wonder if they changed that with how, like, Bepi, the nose for Bepi's roller coaster counts as parries now. Yeah, I've played Undertale. So we just got to do Salt Baker. And then we'll just start working on Expert and seeing how many we can get through Deathless. Yeah, Undertale's a lot of fun. Yeah, you can kill lots of things with cups. But he's choosing a better weapon. A knife. there's not a whole lot with this one for the differences between it and Expert. Or at least that would throw you off. If anything, this one you can definitely say it's easier on regular. Oh, shoot. Unless you watch the- you stare in the flames as it just goes into your face. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Here we are, screwing up on the easy stuff. I guess since it already got cemented with, uh, Helen Aces, we're probably gonna just, uh, mess this up. There we are. Well, we can see how far we can get. Of course. Curses. Yeah, this phase is bad with Pea Shooter. That's why I enjoy just using Super Art 1 as soon as I got it full. Fortunately, I like Expert. He actually does move pretty darn slow. <laughs> All right, so note to self: don't get cocky at the very end. All right, so it's just Salt Baker and uh, Alan Aces that we need to definitely practice. Oh, that's right, sugar cubes. How do you dodge them?
I guess I kind of deserve that for screwing up in phase one so much. Oh, shoot. <laughs> now that was close. Just take it slow and easy. Uh, not really, Nicolo. In fact, I kind of I have a full time job. I, I pay my bills quite easily, so I, I don't really need money. I'd say treat yourself to something nice. You don't need to treat me to something nice. Like I said I should probably build up some EXs for phase three. Oh, apologies. <laughs> Make it. I fire wildly. Okay, wonderful. This time we're back with three health. Hopefully we can actually do it right this time. I think it's kind of like the ones that we had to replay because of too low a score. Once I actually redo it, I tend to do a lot better. And I remember how to do the game. There we go. Even though we got hit stupidly. Wonderful. So now we can start expert. And start practicing that. How do you pronounce it? Yes, I'm very bad with pronunciations. But I do try. Right, so expert time. Let's see how far we can get and how many deaths we rack up. Yeah, the two deaths in the DLC, so hopefully next time we'll uh, fix that and do a full deathless run. Of course, now that I said that, what's probably going to happen is we'll die somewhere stupidly in regular uh, next time. I also need to recheck the rules to make sure that it's no bombs. Because if so, then what I'm going to need to do is make sure that I watch my EXs a lot better. I mean, I swear periodically. I've done so on streams. Usually more if it's um, a game that's more a uh, mature rating. For instance, when I streamed ones like Resident Evil. I think that you probably shouldn't be telling your age online. Regardless if you're a minor or not. If you're a minor, then you probably shouldn't be uh, watching YouTube. And should be sticking with YouTube kids. That would be a very bad, very bad thing. Hey, thank you, Faytoons. I think you probably know what a minor is, considering that you need to be 13 years old to make a YouTube account. But yeah, please avoid keeping your age, disclosing your age to anyone. Here's a real high class battle. Now go. 
always get I always get tricked by Goopy. You only have second phase, but even with the first phase. Okay, so that's what it is. He has, like, almost three cards of health. Expert. I could definitely save the EXs. Actually, a really good one for the spread EX. We're able to get it off. <laughs> With the wrong way. Goopy. Don't do that. Yeah, I think it is mid-twenties or something. And there's a lot of folks that watch YouTube. That's true, because there's always people that could be using, like, their parents' account or so forth. Okay, two down. We'll do Hildeberg next. But I think we have to do one of the running guns to open up the shortcut Caribbean Croaks. Okay, we're probably gonna die on this one. I saw the green one. I'm like, oh no. Probably also, once we get some of these done, probably resume doing things like the Geo mode and uh, try Master Quest as well. I think Master Qu Quest is supposed to be harder than Geo mode. We got through that phase pretty fast. I think that might be a second parry. Well, I mean, if you're a kid and such, it's just don't disclose your age and so forth. It's just basic internet safety. <laughs> Take it. I traded health for that parry. Not sure that was a good trade. Well, it's not an S rank, but it should still be enough. No, I haven't played Starbound before. What it, what is uh, Starbound? I think I've heard. I know I've heard of it, but I haven't. I just I'm drawing a blank. Hey, welcome, Radio Anthony. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day. Uh, well, we did the base game Deathless, but we uh then played through the DLC and died on Alan Aces and Salt Baker. We'll be trying that again sometime. Oh, dang it.
as long as we make it through phase one. Yeah, I just screwed up the very end. I mixed up a few things with normal mode. The same thing with Holland Aces. Where I was big dumb. But oh well, learn an experience. Now we've gotten through the base game deathless, so I think hopefully next week we'll be able to do the entire game in DLC. I'm also trying to re-read the rules to make sure I don't use bombs next time. Because I don't think they're allowed. And I don't know if it's just that if I get that before I have the supers that I need, if it's just an automatic fail. Oh, <laughs> dig it. I time it on those EXs were very, uh, depressing. Yeah, but this money is laced with poison. That's why you can't touch it. Okay, there we go. So I think time-wise, you need to beat it by the third, uh, third slot. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it in time. That was mostly good. Favorite boss? That's a tough one. I st still say that I like Moonshine Mob, uh, Howlin' Aces a lot. And... I think Cagne is a lot of fun for the uh, base game. Uh, Verna Vermin's also fun. Even if it's not exactly a challenging fight. You just want the money for yourself? That was the plan. I poisoned the money and you'll never see it. Not a dime. Shoot, okay. Oh, I was doing so well at not having pink seeds come up. Oh, shoot. This is... This is getting a little out of hand. Doing very dumb. Oh, it still hits. Nice. He still doesn't have much health, but now I have to be cautious. Overly cautious. Oh, no, no. Hey, please, don't make this difficult. Like, don't make this difficult for either of us. Yeah, the music's also really good. Hey, welcome, Greenland. Hopefully you're having a great night. Oh, and, uh, you have a great night, uh, Smacks. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, gotcha. I'll have to put Starbound on the list. So that's Island 1. Hey, welcome, Nixons. Hopefully you're having a wonderful night. Oh, no waffles, please.
not a fan of waffles. Especially sentient ones that are trying to kill you. Definitely don't want any of those. Kind of actually surprised that the Jawbreaker has really low health. So that should be two parries. To be fair, I really haven't had waffles or pancakes. In a good while. Oh, shoot. I'm not a very big breakfast person. Jesus. Oh, shoot. It tricked me. Didn't realize it was one of those heads that was leaving. It's very rude. Very rude indeed. Okay, that still should be an A-. So it counts. So even so... Let's try and do Wally Warbles and get it out of the way. This one throws me off on Expert. I get the feeling I'm gonna die a lot here. I went for that. It makes no sense. There was no need to either. Like in terms of parries, I really don't need these birds. You can always use this kid, the lasers. Take it. Be difficult. Oh, of course you kicked your heart out. Food. Oh, dang it. Thought I had more space. Birds went to the Dr. Mario School of Medicine. Let's throw pills at it. Oh, I die already. Oh, jeez. All right, you have a great night then, Scoodle. And thanks for stopping by. Uh, that bird was evil. He did very bad things in life. Still a very bad score. We got to do it again. Hopefully, we do better this time, especially on the time. We can, like, we can fail the time and still uh, get 
sufficient rank. We have to make sure that we don't screw up, like, uh, the health. One job. That's the thing, the last phase is a lot easier with bombs. Oh, shoot. There we go. I actually got through that one much faster. Just don't kick your heart out. Curses! Oh, that's gonna be tight. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't allow for much time down there. Oh. <laughs> the moment that I finally get down there. There we go. That's still probably not within time. I'm feeding the birds hot lead. Yeah, that was only slightly better in terms of time. Give it one more try. And then move on. If you do the phase like you're supposed to, then it's much easier to get the time limit. But trying to do that last phase without bombs makes life significantly harder. Okay, good. Probably not an ideal position. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, good. Now let's see if we can get through the kid quickly enough. Beautiful. Just one more phase. Let's just not screw it up. Oh, no. Proceeds to screw it up. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, that's dropping the ball hardcore. Curses. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, we gotta redo this one. Uh, I've never been fond of either. To be honest. And now we're just like, hardcore dropping the ball. 
Yeah, see, Wally Warples is one of the annoying ones. Plus, with a little more practice, I think I can get a little more consistent at it. It's just a bad position. As I think you can see, I hate that last phase. So evil without bombs. Like, you can get by it on regular without too much trouble because they're slow. But an expert, you don't get as much of a luxury. Kidding me. Oh no. Ah oh, shoot. I'm like really dropping the hardcore balls here. This match will get red hot. Here goes. Yeah, you do need to simple mode I think is just to practice the most basic parts of the fight rather than actually having that be like the uh oh god, we're just like horribly messing up now. Okay, we're taking a moment Perry break to hydrate. One second. Okay. Let's try again. We're re just to redoing it. I don't know what it is. We're doing it fine, and now we're just like regressing. Complete regression. Alright, have a great night, John Dowers. Uh, thanks for stopping by. He typically shoots through them in bouts of three. Oh, I accidentally killed that one. Oh, how did I get hit there? Oh, I must have went back to the wall. One of those times when you don't want to back to the wall. Oh yeah, this is what I'm going to be practicing quite a bit. Oh, I have the bomb. Must not have been using the X as much. Okay. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> it's like... Dropping the ball hardcore on this fight. Dang it. All right. <laughs> I don't actually remember the season one ones. I don't remember the distinct episodes, to be honest. I know that I've seen the uh, show. But, you know, it's kind of tough when they kind of blur together at some point. It's like any show that it's hard for me to remember... Uh, which ones from which season that I enjoyed. And it's kind of the same thing with, like, when I uh, watched, uh, like, Bojack Hostman and so forth. I can only remember... I can remember more scenes than episodes. I guess that gets kind of weird with that. Because then I have to hunt for the episode if I want to watch something again. Dang it, got up. 
gosh, you horse. We are just very bad at this fight. Christ, I have a bomb again. And again. <laughs> Dude. I'm just being big dumb. Okay, we're moving that way. Oh crap, watch out. I do not like apples. Especially apples that shoot at me. Wonder if it would be better to just save your uh, EXs and do the bomb. Assuming the bomb is allowed. Ah, oh, shoot, I got myself trapped again. Okay, we're gonna move on and do a different boss. Hey, welcome behind the cookie. I don't know what it is, that fight just throws me off like hardcore. Alright, you have a great night, uh, Matthias. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> well, I... With Expert, I'm definitely a lot worse at this. We we'll expect a lot more deaths. I got my parries. And then next week we'll do this more seriously with trying to just restart if we die. Trying to first go through normal. And then expert. We'll probably not make it through expert. But it looks like regular we can do deathless without much trouble. Once we practice a good bit more. Oh shoot. That was big dumb. But yeah, this one, especially the secret phase, is one that always gave me a lot of trouble. Oh, shoot. Like, stop firing. Start. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought I had more space there. <laughs> Crap. I am so terrible at these plague fights. That's why we're trying to get better. Oh, that one that always throws me off. <laughs> Watch out for the little spinny blades of death. Those aren't good to touch. Oh, I'm sure I'll get it eventually. It's just... I'm definitely a lot less practiced on doing this on Expert. I haven't really focused the playing fights. It's most of the things have been like the no jump in stuff. So I haven't had any kind of special playing challenge stuff. My focus was to try and get through regular tonight. Then hopefully start practicing expert. And hey, that's going to be a lot of fails along the way. Rude. 
Very rude, man. Oh, did I back up into that? Oh, shoot. Me just being big dumb. Curses. Yeah, I definitely gotta practice these plane levels on my own. When I have more time. Wait. I thought I buried that. Curses. I must not have parried in time. Where you got the thing where you take damage and do the parry. That's unfortunate. It leaves me at a disadvantage. Oh, hey, welcome, Divine Chaos. Hopefully you're doing well. And welcome. We gotta also manage our EXs better if we can't. Ah, oh, jeez. We're not supposed to be using bomb. But yeah, <laughs> we gotta practice fight quite a bit. Oh my goodness, I am so out of practice with it. Like trying to go northeast and go north instead. At least it should go better for next week. Not sure how much practice I'll be able to get in with new games coming out, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get a little bit more consistent with these airplane levels. As I can see, I can just I just mess them up a lot. Did it again. <laughs> My goodness. Keep doing the dumb moves. Hey, welcome, Quinn. Hopefully, your night is going well. I am uh, just practicing, trying to get through eventually deathless. Oh, crap. <laughs> but uh, I haven't practiced the airplane levels in a long time. I know on Expert, they uh, are much more uh, challenging. Like, with Esther, I'm a little more confident with, because, you know, it's DLC. I've still done that periodically. But, um... And with these ones, so much less confident. I've been out of practice. But it could also be that, as the night's go going on, just doing worse and worse. This is usually what happens. Maybe this would be better done during the afternoons like I do with the Hollow Knight stuff. But then I could use the excuse that the sun is in my eyes. That'd be even better. Someone reflecting uh, their sunlight off their wristwatch to my face. Because yeah, we're working on... Uh, some specific rules for a deathless playthrough. Not sure if we can use the bomb. Oh, shoot. We definitely can't use the bombs from the, uh, the bomb upgrade. There we go. We're still gonna get screwed over and get ourselves killed. 
but even so, <laughs> we're gonna we gotta continue trying. We gotta learn. We gotta practice. Oh come on! I thought that was sufficient. We're gonna still mess up this last phase. I know perfectly well. Oh, no, no, no. I should have got up. Curses. <laughs> the swelter in moonlight. Well, I mean, the moon is just reflected sunlight, so now we gotta do like extra reflections. Got to do like a series of mirrors reflected off the moon, and then a series of mirrors right into my face. Apologies for the screw ups. I think I'm a little more practiced with Cala Maria just from doing the uh, one thing with not being petrified. Uh, maybe we'll try that one next. It's pretty clear we need to work on all the uh, airplane levels. Also gonna have to do some major EX management if we uh, can't use the bomb super. Yeah, I'm particularly looking forward to Beacon Pines on Thursday. The plan is gonna be to stream it. I love those little narrative games. Okay, we're, it's starting to finally click, it seems. Oh, that might be... Okay, we were fine. There we are. God, it only took like, what, 10 tries? Guess we're just really out of practice with Jimmy. We finally get past the finish line. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yeah, we 100% need to practice these bosses. It's been so long since I've done them on with just like pea shooter only. Try and do Beppy and Grimms before we go over. Actually, I think Duck Calls Robots another one I practiced with the no shooting the minions. It's just that I usually skip Wally and Wally and Jimmy. Beginning to see that it's probably not the best idea. Oh, no, no. Don't want to be under that on the cart. Since the nose counts as parries, we don't even have to worry about the horseshoes or anything. Yeah, I've heard of Rainbow Lord. In fact, I streamed it. I didn't 100% it. 
but I don't I have a good bit of fun with it. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Would definitely recommend playing it. That's right. a lot better. I practice dodging the baseballs, but not as much as I probably should. Here we go. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, sometimes it's one of those kind of games that you put down and then you pick up much later. Beppy wasn't a problem. I can still do Beppy, it seems. And thank you. The plane levels. Plane levels, I'm not crazy. They're just all I can get me. Someone sabotaged my plane. feel kind of those eye beams are just I'm in the right position and is always the rough one. I also never know when he's gonna do his double meteor. I guess I get two parries out of this. How unfortunate. He didn't jump as high as I thought he would. I was expecting him to get high as a kite. Definitely seems like staying low is the best option. Well, we might still have the A- minus with the two health and the two parries. Yeah, because we're within time. And I think I shot off enough supers. Yeah. Oh, there we go. At least Grim Matchstick isn't that bad. It's only bad if you're using, like, Twist Up or Spread. Hey, thank you. Work our way over towards Dr. Called Robot and Kala Maria. This is still another one that I'm kind of bad at. actually got that parry. Sometimes with some of these parries, they're not clear as to how long it stays on screen. We can use the triangle shots, though. At least if we don't decide to get hit by them. I still make a lot of mistakes where I try to parry and I just don't push the button in time.
Okay, so we'll get the pink ball instead this time. Shoot. <laughs> We're probably dead. I don't feel very confident when I'm in that last phase with one hit point. removing my platforms. It's just very rude today. That's right, you have to be pretty low. Oh, shoot! Oh, that's a, that's a bad one. That one's definitely not an S-Rank. The S is for sucks. At least we got enough of those. Watch out for that. Not even I'm not even trying to get the parry this time. <laughs> I don't trust myself. Turns out the greatest enemy is yourself. Take this slow and easy. We shouldn't have problems. Emphasis on shouldn't. Or somehow we will. My platforms. My precious platforms. Why do you keep taking them from me? Shoot. What is this? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's such bad luck. Jeez. <laughs> Definitely not an S-Rank. My precious platforms. Oh, we gotta do it again because we didn't get it in time. See, it's B. Extra Bs. Yeah, we gotta try that one more time. Did this. Yes, we still gotta practice this one. Really weird spot. Just trying to make sure I don't like fall. I don't like touch the platform before I get the parry off. And the next one will be the ball after this one. We still want to. I still want to go back and do geo mode. But obviously, if we're struggling with expert like this, 
pr we're gonna have to practice Geo Mode quite a lot. Same thing with Master Quest. Oh, shoot. My platforms. Why do you snatch them from me? I just want to get some extra damage on you. Probably not within the time. That should be everything else. So then we can move on from the... Yeah, we were definitely a lot of overtime. That's just an A+, plus or an A. Yes, we'll do... We'll try going on this left side, so we'll do Werner Vermin, Dr. Kell's robot. Then work over to like Colin Maria. Yeah, I'm a little surprised with this one. In the second phase, you can actually just duck and not be hit by the flames on the bottom platform. Hey, welcome, Witch Girl. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, shoot. Bad timing. Definitely should have paid attention to that one on the left side. Is... I knew I was forgetting something. That might not be enough. I might still have everything else to get in the uh, A minus. Oh, nice. Well, hopefully, you have fun with uh, Cuphead as well. And welcome, Tyler. Yeah, Cuphead is a pretty fun uh, boss game. It has some run and gun levels as well, if you want some platforming. We're trying to do work on uh, Vengeless Deathless playthrough. So, uh, trying to go through the bosses one by one. See which one gives us trouble. Typically the plane levels are what are giving me trouble, because I haven't practiced those much. Yeah, if you're able to get that antenna killed first, things get much easier. Usually phase one and three are the hardest. Just kind of figuring out which part you want to destroy first. Because each one will get a different effect. They move a lot faster on expert. Okay, good. At least we're in phase three now. I'm not really sure what's so funny. 
Other than that I got hit there. That is pretty funny. Usually we're relatively decent at the dodge, and this is on relatively. I guess we're just kind of... Definitely made a lot of dumb mistakes tonight. So I guess we're just continuing that trend. But yeah, I think Dr. Call's robot. I've actually practiced a little more. Hey, welcome, um... Boyo Tato. <laughs> oh, goodness. That is definitely throwing me off the pronunciation. Welcome. I don't think they are. It's on by default, so I think I have to manage the EXs better. But I need to review the rules for next week, just to be certain. I know I've used the bombs on regular unintentionally. I have to manage my EXs a lot better. The hatred of this fight knows no bounds. Hey, usually you don't get three parries. I guess that's nice in a certain sense. Oh, it is Poyotato? I did have to stop and think for a moment with that. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, curses. Baby, you threw me off. Baby has the eyes of a stone cold killer. We're not going to go good. Last phase. So annoying with Pea Shooter. Pretty sure that's not within time. <laughs> Curses. Yeah, that's way over time. That means it's a B plus. I gotta redo it. Oh no. <laughs> This is one that I'm not sure that I can do within the time limit with just Pea Shooter. Of course, most of the time you get your you get two parries out of this phase. Must have been doing it very slow if I got a third a third parry out of it. Yeah, that's the thing, I'm gonna have to make it through with like two health tops. If I don't get all my parries, I might have to I have to end up trying to do something like um, make it through with full health. I am not confident about that. 
me. That would be why. I did it. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I just screwed that up completely. It's always that second phase. That was a bit closer. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> We're still probably out of the time. Oh, it blocks the shots as well. An all-purpose umbrella. Oh, shoot. There we go. <laughs> Curses. Just can make it through phase two a lot with a lot more health, then we'll be a lot better off. I don't think the secret phase is faster. But I think you can get some extra parries there. And then once we get through with Deathless, we'll basically shoot for more uh, eccentric challenges. <laughs> Your umbrella can block pea shooters as well. Well, that's good to know. I gotta say, it's an all purpose umbrella. Oh, you... <laughs> I was worried about that happening. Oh, you, you're kidding me. That baby's a stone cold killer. Oh, crap. <laughs> That dang baby. I think that that attack is also the one that annoys me the most, because it's kind of like a Great Prince Soad's drop. Where it's not always obvious where they're going to drop down to. I think that's three parries. Oh my goodness, we're doing this really slow. Like, mend your kids better. That is unfortunate. See, that's the thing that I'm always worried about, getting trapped in that uh, corner. That's so easy to have happen. Right. Dig it. I angled that wrong. Damn it, die already. I'm pretty sure I'm out of I made it past the time limit. Yeah. That's why I parried the rose, because I think that will give me just enough for an A minus. Yeah, we needed the third parry. 
I am very bad at Sally's stage play. It's one of the fights that I kind of dread because of that second phase and then just being able to make the time limit, being able to get the parries. It kind of reminds me of Mortimer Freeze in the DLC, because it's usually that one has a similar kind of thing where your parry's starved. Oh, nope. How are we gonna do ghosts? Shoot. <laughs> Curses. Oh, that was good. I had good positioning for that. Good positioning was a lie. At least I get the parries easily. I think there is a small sound effect that plays right before she's going to use her eye lasers. Oh no! Oh, I got the parry! Oh, no, no, no. Curses. That did not leave me a lot of space. Maybe he just doesn't like being boot roughed up. He's waiting for Cuphead 2. This time it's personal. Shoot. It's definitely one that it's better to move up with. But you don't trap yourself. Okay, she's gonna do ghosts. Oh shoot, of course I did that. What am I thinking? I totally did. I think I can hear that sound effect right before the uh, lasers come out. It's now. Man, if I knew that before, that would have been very helpful. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought I had more space. Okay, so it seems I need to practice Cal Maria as well. And then I think after this attempt, I'm gonna hydrate. So I can definitely... So I think I need, think I need to stop and grab a drink. Okay, she's gonna do ghosts. This run is really uh, getting a lot of parries. It's kind of surprising. It just kind of uh, has that feeling where sometimes you get a lot of parries and others you don't. It's usually the ones that you're super starved for uh, parries oh, right there. Because anytime I have my three parries before Murder Murder's Freeze third phase, I'm like, oh, that's great. You know, everything's set. It's easy. I just need to not get hit. And then I proceed to get hit.
There we go. Gotta get a bit more practice, it seems, to get more consistent. Oh, I'm gonna definitely jinx myself. There's still if ands, or buts about it. At least we can still do this relatively decent. We definitely need to practice Cal Maria. But it seems like Wally Warbles and Jimmy are the ones that we're definitely out of practice with. We're expert. Since we're dying consistently at those. Hey, thank you. guys. Probably just jump over him. Try to get spot. <laughs> can pretty much ignore the uh the squid because he'll just go away. It takes a few seconds though. Should transition to phase two? Okay, good. There we go, we just gotta leave, leave enough space for the lasers. Out of EXs. Lasers, I trusted you to build my cards. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there I go, messing up the timing. I'm not sure if it's within time, but we definitely have the parries. Yeah, we're definitely hydrating after this. They were really slow on that one. Okay, but it's still an A-. minus. One second for hydrating. Okay. That should just leave Phantom Express, King Dice, The Devil, and then DLC bosses. We'll figure out, um, they're working on all those, get them dealt with, and then for next week we'll figure out, uh, try and practice that way. Hopefully I can at least do a full deathless, um, uh, regular mode and see how expert goes. And make sure I'm sticking to the rules. don't want to do anything that would uh, be disqualifying. But make sure I do it nice and proper. I don't know. It. I guess it's just that for myself, I get distracted very easily with them. For myself, 
I just find the control for it be much worse. Or more harder to handle, at least for me. I kind of actually prefer this last phase on Expert when you have the guys just constantly bringing these. Oh, no. Oh, I prioritized the parry on the train. It's not the parry I wanted. I guess it's the parry I deserved. Definitely over time. Curses. There shouldn't be a reason to be over time on that one. Maybe we need to save more EXs. Yeah, that's like B+. Plus. Gonna have to redo it. Okay, this time, let's try not get hit by stupid things. Yeah, I mean, it can be different for quite a few folks. Like, Astro Winchester is still one that I had a lot of trouble with learning. Like, personally, I feel Salt Baker's much harder, but I, she's definitely the one that gave me significant amount of trouble just learning the fight. Ooh. Dang it. <laughs> We're definitely not on time this uh, this round. Build up as much EXs as possible. Oh, we get that train without getting ourselves hurt. Just watch out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, okay, I see it. Get rid of that. Yeah, she's very chaotic. Oh, we're actually in time that time. Of course. The second time around, S rank. Yeah, P Shooter is good for. You can make it work for most bosses with P Shooter. Thank you. Hey, welcome, Hashira. Hopefully, your night's going wonderful. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's still I, the only one with no jumping for the DLC that I need to do is um, Mortimer Freeze. And the thing is, I don't like just beating it. I want to S rank it. I want to do it hitless if it's possible. Salt Baker doesn't look like it's possible to S rank with no jumping. Could be wrong, and just like perfect crack shot EX management might be the key. I did try to do that for a while. 
Of course, if people suggest Cuphead challenges, I'm happy to try them. There's a few that have been suggested that I need to take some time for. There's, uh, there is no light that comes out tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to get that taken care of. And then there's Beacon Pines on Thursday that I'll be streaming. Then hopefully... Hoping that I can also play the Outbound Ghost when it comes out on Tuesday, but... I think that one might be... might not have the time. Yeah, I need a two. Because I hate the rabbit. I'm not very fond of the plane levels for King Dice. I think this is like the easiest one out of the three. The thing is, if you have Smoke Bomb, then the Rabbit's not a bad one. Just without it, I tend to screw up. And I prefer not to take damage. At least as much as possible. Oh, I'm out of EXs. There we are. Alright. And we should just need the 8-ball. Oh hey, he even has the heart, so that's an easy choice. through this, and then the devil, and then the DLC. We'll probably stop tonight after after all the uh, DLC bosses. Way. I know what to focus for next time. I want to practice. And then hopefully we'll do better. Definitely want to do the uh, death, full deathless game. Favorite boss? I really love Moonshine Mob and the Howling Aces for the DLC. Uh, for the base game, ones like Cagney are ones that I enjoy, especially because I kept doing like the challenge stuff with Cagney. Uh, let's see. Okay. I know, I didn't actually expect to get the, uh, hearts along the way. I mean, the real friends were the hearts that we collected along the way. I don't think I've ever really done this fight with Miss Chalice. Oh. I should have immediately saw that I needed to dash for that one. But I think at some point I'll try King Dice with, uh, no jumpins, which will pretty much mean Miss Chalice. There we go. Man, don't know how to deal with my hand, my deal my hand to cards. That last phase. Oh, we're outside the time part. It's just an A plus. I think it's that it's four minutes, eight seconds. I think you can get it like to 410. Hey, thank you.
And then once we uh, get through these challenges for Deathless, then we'll start focusing like Geo Mode and Master Quest. I think Geo Mode is oh shoot is updated to uh, for the DLC. I couldn't get it to work for the DLC, but I think it has been updated. But it is significantly harder. Especially as I was struggling with Hildeberg. Well, that was a little bit more closer than I would like. The music and aesthetics is definitely one of the high points of it. It also has a lot of fun gameplay. It is pretty challenging, but it's one of those things that once you practice and you start getting really good at the game, then it becomes something that you have a lot of fun with. Oh, no, no! Wait, why did it shoot to the right? Oh, I'm gonna be very dead here. He's using his Satan powers to beat me. Okay. <laughs> Definitely still need to practice the devil, but even so. Jeez. I know, and the thing is, I'm still very bad with the devil. I make so many mistakes in that third phase. Once you get to the last phase, it's pretty much a win, unless you just, like, really mess up. And I have messed up on that last phase. Hey, DLC time. Hey, thank you. Oh, you shouldn't need to. You shouldn't need to spare a few consoles. Although I, I might have misread that and said controller, and thought you said controllers at first. It's like, no, you don't need to break a lot of uh, controllers. Uh, DLC with uh, pea shooter, I'm a lot worse at. Let's see how fast we can get through this. A great plan is in Now go. Oh, that's right. I don't have Miss Chalice or uh, <laughs> or Smoke Bob. Oh, shoot! No, no, no. How did that one hit me? But I ducked it. <laughs> no. Oh, we're in so much trouble. This run could be summed up as trouble.
Oh, that was just luck. Pretty sure I had screwed that up. Favorite game of all time? That's a hard one to say. Like, I've, I really enjoy Hollow Knight. And I've spent a lot of hours in World of Warcraft throughout the years. But I wouldn't say World of Warcraft is my favorite game. I mean, MMOs are usually just made to eat up a lot of your time. Oh no. Oh no! This is the most unfortunate thing! Curses! <laughs> I regret everything. All my choices that led to that moment. Blumstone's hacking, reporting him. That is truly unfortunate. It just depends on what kind of stuff you have, because, like, with Crackshot, you could use the EX to, um, to parry that, and you'd be fine. And ones like Miss Chalice have an easy time doing that. Definitely got the parries this time. I mean, if we're talking from different aspects, then, like, still, one game that I really loved as a kid was Baldur's Gate 2. And story-wise, I really loved Planescape Torment for the story. Okay. Thought it was gonna do the one over there. Shoot. Cheat and gumstone. I'm gonna report you for hacks. That might not be within the time limit, but I think we should still be good for the A minus. Oh, it was within time. Okay, good enough. Yeah, I really love Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, well, Bullet Gate 1 and 2, but 2 is definitely uh, a lot better. Just because it's a really fun um, d d computer game. Though surprisingly, I mean, it's what got me into d d But uses uh, second edition rules, which are very obtuse. Definitely would not play with second edition rules. First phase with pea shooters an evil thing. Damn it, popsicles. Oh no. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone for that one. Hindsight is 2020. Oh, I thought I'd get one more parry. Okay, 
I'm just gonna pop his eye out. Nice. I didn't actually expect to, uh... I was going to get hit on that final attack. Okay, you have a great night, Hashira. Thanks for stopping by. You have a wonderful night. I think I like when he does the refrigerator attack to stay at the far end, so that way the ice cubes get used over there. Because unless he does the spikes next, it usually is more advantageous to have those out of the way. See, that's why that throws me off, because on regular, it doesn't do the thing where, like, the middle one leaves first. Hey, 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 fire hydrants. It just left, like, immediately. shouldn't have committed to that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Got one last second. Oh, that's bad, because I'm usually pretty bad at the third phase. Like usually I mess up here. I'll take it. Oh, that doesn't look good. We actually survived. We're not going to survive here, though. Okay, we're dead here. We're taking an excessive amount of time to get through this. I don't remember it taking that long to win. Oh my goodness. Definitely. Yeah, see, we're way outside the time limit on that. Okay, we gotta redo that. <laughs> I believe in yourself. No, I believe that we definitely did that over the time. There's no amount of believe in yourself that will let you, uh... Have a lower time for that. Fire hydrants out of the way. <laughs> oh, curses. Thought I was safe with that. I guess that's what I get for uh, being very foolish.
I think we also spend a lot of time on phase two. But we definitely spent a huge amount of time on phase three. Usually, you're not supposed to go like four times through this. I guess I can do more to try and hit those lasers. Oh, like... <laughs> that was the worst possible way I could have done that. Oh, sh <laughs> oh, shoot. I don't know, sometimes that laser gets me. Where I think I can just stay at the uh, edge. And then before I know it, I just do something dumb like that and get hit. Fire hydrants out. Oh, shoot. I must you taught me fire hydrants. Yeah, definitely sniped. Oh, hey, welcome, Spacey. That was a dumb, very dumb moment. Maybe I can just be like the sun was in my eyes. It's 11.30 at night, but, you know, it could still work. Sounds like a viable excuse. <laughs> yeah, the sun is definitely in my eyes. Oh my goodness. Hey, welcome, Spacey, though. Apologies. to get later at night. This skill decreases, like, immensely. But that's okay. Which means that we'll have to practice this more. But hopefully... Regardless of how bad we do normally. That we can still overcome that. One thing that I might also be doing is trying to redo some Subnautica challenge stuff. I'm a little disappointed that the uh, new update doesn't have too much stuff for a challenge run. Still. Oh. This is... Alright. <laughs> Let's try and do a little bit better. Oh, no. Okay, beautiful. Now we can just try and survive. Emphasis on try and survive. I get the feeling we're gonna have to do a full thing of this. Can't have too much more help. We are excessively over the time. I'm not sure what we're doing wrong with Pea Shooter. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, so that's only like A, A plus. Yeah, we were definitely way over time there. I'm gonna have to practice that with B Shooter. I mean, I've gotten S rank with Lobber. That's a little surprising that P Shooter is being uh, a lot worse. P Shooter's not that weak. It's actually pretty good overall. It takes some getting used to. And the biggest weakness is, of course, the fact that. You have to aim it, and it's not exactly a really good aiming weapon. Okay, there we are. Oh, shoot. Curses. Oh, no stress, just one health on the face that's the uh, more difficult one. within time, so this should hopefully still be an A-. minus. Hey, welcome! Uh, Akitorio? Akitorio? Apologies, I, I'm terrible at pronunciations. But welcome, nonetheless. Apologies for any butchering of your name. Okay, that looks... Yeah, I actually didn't see the rank. I'm gonna assume it's A-. minus. Here's the part where I look back at the footage and it's like... B plus. Never happened. 100% A. The one place he didn't need to show up. I at least can parry that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can't parry anything else, it seems. make this a little more intense than it needs to be. You can still damage her for just a brief moment when she her phase ends. Shoot. Oh no! Oh, I thought I had enough space. I guess it was just a little too much. But was it A minus? Good. It's late. I'm kind of. I'm at that point where it's like, all right, uh, yeah, definitely an A. I'm gonna do like the smudged, smudged letters. Oh, 
killed. Ow, we're just redoing that one. That one's a fail. I already know that. It's very unlikely that we're going to do that right after that much scripts. There we go. That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> Rude. I can't believe I got hit by that guy at the very end. Dude, I'm starting to get ahead of myself. And the music. Yeah, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I feel like some hashtag inspiration. Ah, oh, that was gonna be. Get this. I hope we're within the time limit. Okay, we are. We got the parries. That's an A minus. That's okay. They took it to a hospital. Hey, they're violating my personal bubble. That's the problem. Alright, so we just gotta do one of the easiest bosses. I'm an expert with the pea shooter. See no problems here. Yeah, no problems at all. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have tried that EX move there. We're retrying that. Oh my goodness. Hey, thank you. It is, however, pretty late, so apologies. I'm like... I'm in that kind of wonderful moment where I'm just not in awe. Why, we're just gonna retry that. I think I'll slowly get better at... I'm... <laughs> Shoot. Streaming at this hour. Better we'll probably stick to more of the narrative games or such. Although, for now, this is when um, I prefer to do Cuphead challenges. Well, maybe we'll do it in Sunday mornings. And just leave Sunday evenings open. It does seem like that works out a little bit better. I usually find that I'm more alert when I've woken up. I guess the problem is just finding the right timing.
We should transition to phase two in a moment. There we are. This must be doing very bad at doing enough damage. That's ah, okay. No food was harmed in the making of this game. I don't know if they actually display such a warning. But I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Unless this is one of those things where it's like, ah, the food went to a farm upstate, where it'll be much happier. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was looking at Chet. I thought the stars, you betrayed me. Curses. Forgot that sometimes you'll just fall right on the saws. Bit cheatery. Salt baker hacks, just like Glumstone. Gotta report them. Oh shoot! <laughs> I thought he he went into my personal bubble. Curses. Yeah, salt baker's cheating. It's like that. I mean, phase three is kind of uh, a little weak, but I largely agree. For a final boss, it definitely is an enjoyable one. The one thing that makes it annoying about this fight with Eamon for his head. Sometimes it's just very cheap. I always forget I can duck those. At least as Cuphead and Mugman. Which Phallus I usually roll through him, so I'm kind of just not really focused. Oh shoot. I to say, I put myself in a very bad spot there. At least it has most of our EXs full this time. That's why I kind of like having Super Art 1 to just skip that phase. Didn't count as a hit. And at least got two hits. Because 
consistent damage seems to be the EX's. Real pain to try and hit him with the normal shots. This is why Lobber was such a pain as well. I'll shoot. Doing so poorly at this. This <laughs> no. is keep missing. Fangled. The fact that I have one health is not helping. There we go, finally! <laughs> oh my goodness, that took so long! I'm so terrible at that last phase with just the pea shooter. Wow, that is way over time. Oh my goodness, that's not even A minus. That's a B for B better. Okay, we gotta try that again. We gotta get that A minus. Holy crap. <laughs> that was terrible. Good day for well I think I bet I've gotten it in time before with the uh, pea shooter, because we I've done this before on stream. Don't remember it being so difficult. I guess it just might be a bad night. Some Castlevania 2, but a terrible night to have a curse. Oh, shoot. Well, that was a lot faster that time. I guess we just have to do a better job of uh, hitting them. Because we still need to keep our health. That's not a good... We're not doing so hot. Yeah, we need to save as many EXs as possible for... Phase 3 and 4. say that as I miss out on a lot of extra EX shots. There we go. Okay. I mean, building the EX shots for the last phase isn't that bad, because we can always just parry the heart. We just gotta get much better at the parries. Ah, oh, shoot. We've done it again. This is always the one that gives me the trouble. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, gotta try it again. That last phase is so terrible, the pea shooter. 
It's why I really love the super arts for that. Oh, shoot. We're redoing that. I shouldn't have got hit there. I keep forgetting I can duck these. So there shouldn't be any real reason, except, like, there. Okay, let's retry that. Yeah, very much dead. Shows how much more I need to really practice with Pea Shooter. Thing. Not watching the flames, it seems. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to hop that berry. I like to try and get them on the edges, because then it feels like you have more room to maneuver. Oh, I touched the leaves. Curses. <laughs> uh, this late. Make a lot of dumb mistakes at this point. But yeah, I think I'll probably start looking at maybe doing the uh, challenges in the morning. That should help. I hope it will. Didn't get that parry off in time. <laughs> Curses. Alright, let's give it another go. It'll eventually come together. Until then. I will practice. So then we can just stay safe, preferably not get hit by fireballs, or sugar cubes, or animal cookies. There we go. We're doing this a little bit better, I suppose. Ah, uh, that, yeah, probably. I think multiplayer I've probably pulled off on for a little bit. Guess it just depends. Oh, dang it, of course we do something dumb like that.
Alright, phase three. And then sleep time. At least hopefully. <laughs> There's still so much to get done. I'm pretty happy with uh, the progress that's made. Lots of practice to do, but now I know where I stand for quite a few of these things. At least regular should hopefully be done next week. Fingers crossed. How do you parry again, apparently? How do you aim as well? <laughs> Dang it. Oh, curses. I am so very bad at this at this hour. We'll give it a few more tries. But yeah, I think that some of it is just going to be trying to figure out what works best stream-wise for the time. At least this isn't as bad as what I originally streamed until like 1 or 2 in the morning. It's never very good at being up that late for playing for anything that required a lot of skill. Oh yeah, see. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. If we're gonna get hit here, I can feel it. Very slow phase one. And I'm already at one health. Okay, we better better try that again. It'll eventually come together. If not now, the next week. Shoot. Hey, Travis, thank you for the sub. Yeah, but I've already done Perfection in Stardew Valley, so it's kind of... There's not a whole lot that can be done. Unless I wanted to do, like, modded. Like, I feel that Stardew Valley works better for an evening kind of thing. But I think I'm recognizing that doing these challenges at night, not really the best of ideas. That's okay, it's a learning experience. Okay. But yeah, apologies. I'll be a little quiet for a moment. Stay focused. And whoever it was, thank you for the sub. Apologies. Don't want to uh, get distracted. I'm trying to uh, turn my attention from the game, especially with how much I've been messing up at this late at night. Ah, oh, shoot.
Yeah, it's not necessarily bad. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, final phase. Let's try this again. This time with feeling. And that way we can get some sleep. Much needed sleep. that one. Could be good now. Except for that. Definitely not good there. Oh, curses. <laughs> That's probably still not within time. I think I'm probably going to be uh, preferring sleep and then just continuing next week. Yeah, that's way over time. About 30 seconds. Uh oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to come back next week and do that. I don't know what it is. I'm going to probably try these in the morning on Sunday and see if that works better, because I know that does... I get closer to midnight, I usually start getting a lot sleepier, and then I start making lots more mistakes. So, that the oh, hey, thank you, uh, Nightly Assassin. And, uh, welcome. So, yeah, we're gonna stop here, uh, and then, uh, next week we'll probably do the Sunday morning and see if that, uh, and then continue that so we can try and do Deathless regular. I think that's doable, since we got through the base game just fine. It was the DLC that threw us off. And then we'll hopefully get better at Expert. So nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time.